How's everybody doing this evening? I'm right in front of the Carlsbad sign, Carlsbad Village Drive and Carlsbad Boulevard. And if you're familiar with this area, you know this is a very, very busy intersection. And the reason it's not very busy tonight is because it's cold, pretty cold. Even though it's not cold on this, the temperature scale, it still feels cold because I think it's, it's a damp cold. So it's probably in the 50s. People say, well, 50s, that's not cold. But when you're next to the ocean, it gets pretty cold. Damn, 50. So what I want to talk about, I want to talk about how banks need to go away. Banks needs to, need to go away. And when you really think of what a bank is, a bank is a guardian of the transaction. So when we spend money and somebody receives that money, they want that secure transaction between the two parties. They want to make sure there's money in the bank from where the person spends it and they want to make sure it goes to the right person who receives it. So that's all a bank does. It's like the person in between the transaction. It's the guardian of the transaction. That's what a bank does. That's all a bank does. A bank doesn't make anything. A bank doesn't uh, uh, produce anything. A bank just is an intermediary, intermediary between two people in a transaction. And that's the way it's been for a long time. And one of the reasons why we have banks is because it's hard to exchange uh, value any other way. I mean, it's hard if you've got silver to give it to somebody else in a transaction because silver or gold or any one of these precious metals is heavy and it's hard to, uh, you know, to, uh, to, to uh, um, make it into smaller pieces to give to somebody. It's got to be, you know, it's hard, to, it's, it's hard to shave off a little bit. People used to do it, but it's just not convenient anymore, especially in a digital world, in an internet world, in an internet where everything's online, you're not going to be able to transact very well if you're trying to use hard money or some other way of, uh, of transacting or some other way, even you know, trade labor or anything, barter or anything like that. You can't do it. So banks are really what steps in that void. They step in the void to make that secure, make us all feel good about the security of of these transactions. We feel good. If it goes through Wells Fargo, it goes through Bank of America, it goes through any one of these banks, we feel like, oh yeah, you know, if the bank's involved, it's, 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 it's not, uh, it's, a, it's a secure transaction and we feel comfortable with it. The problem is, is the banks, being the intermediary, being the in-between party, have gotten greedy and they have taken too much of the transaction. They have seen opportunities. They have all kinds of ways to take money out of the transaction. When you deposit money into a, in a, into a bank, there's all kinds of fees. There's all kinds of things that they can do. There's all kinds of uh, ways the banks get very that get treated very well out of these situations. You go around any major city in the United States, and you're going to see the biggest, the tallest buildings are usually banks, and that's usually because the banks are the party making a lot of money in these transactions. So banks, over the years, have been able to do very well being the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the party, the transacting party, or the party in the, that's in between that's been able to, uh, uh, to partake of this transaction, to be able to participate in this transaction, of which they need to be eliminated. They no longer need to be part of the transaction. And the reason I say that is because in today's world, in today's technology, we are now having ways to get around that. And the way to get around that is by having an open ledger on the blockchain, having everything transparent, having transactable money by digital currency, by Bitcoin, by all the different ways of cryptocurrencies that we can transact. That's why Bitcoin, I think, will never, ever be not valuable. It's always going to be valuable because it's a medium of exchange online. It's a digital money. It's a way to get money back and forth from people anywhere in the world and to be able to do it online. So that's why it's so valuable and that's why banks need to go away because if we take banks out of the transaction, the transaction becomes less, a lot less expensive. Even though there are costs associated with Bitcoin, transactional costs, overall it's going to be a lot more efficient and a lot less expensive if the banks just go away. Just go away. Just get out of the system. Will that happen? I don't know. I mean, that's, that's theoretically what can happen with the blockchain and with the open ledger and with Bitcoin. Theoretically, you could eliminate banks from all transactions. Um, now, people all have their little ways of feeling good about things. And they have their, uh, if anything I know, people feel have a little comfort zone with the way the world operates. And 
A lot of them aren't going to want to let go of the little security blanket of the bank. The bank is their security blanket. They feel good about the bank. They want the bank to be involved. I mean, as long as they feel that way, the banks probably won't go away. But I think it's a little bit like having a flip phone and a smartphone. Once you see how much better the smartphone is, you'll throw your flip phone away every day of the week and you'll never want to see it again. And I hope that's what happens with the banks. I hope once people figure out how well they can transact without the banks using decentralized blockchain systems and digital currency and Bitcoin, they never want to go back to the bank again. Uh, banks are slow, they're expensive. And on top of that, the bank never really, they always have a little bit of a nebulous to this about what they charge and the services and the fees and all the transactional fees. You don't have to deal with that anymore. So really, I just hope they go away. I don't know if they will or not. I think people, by and large, don't like banks. I think banks have a bad name. I think banks have a bad name for good reason. Because a lot of people had a lot of bad experiences with banks. And I think banks have taken advantage of a lot of people. Um, but they've done it because people wanted somebody to be involved. Now they don't need that person or need that corporation or entity or that uh, whatever you want to call it in between themselves and their money. So let's take the banks out of the equation. Um, let's have a healthier system. Let's have a system where everybody's going the same direction. Everybody has a common interest. Everybody has a common goal. And you don't have all these these uh, these cross agendas going on like you do at the bank. You know, banks are always more interested in the bank's position than anybody else's. Not to mention we have all this stuff going on with FICA scores and all this other crap of which people have to deal with. You know, you can't borrow money because you were late on a bill. You can't go get a loan because, you know, you didn't pay your student loan payment, all this other stuff. The banks become, you know, that have this third party decision making in the background, background that make all of our lives miserable. That can all be eliminated with something, something like the open ledger and the blockchain. So, hopefully, this will be something that takes place in a, in a short matter of time. And banks will simply go away. And I hope that's what happens. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.